Antea Parmigianino. Parmigianino Antea has fascinated art historians for centuries and is considered by many to be one of the finest examples of Italian female portraiture. Arguably the second most enchanting and mysterious portrait of the Renaissance after the Mona Lisa, this work intrigues art fun and critics as very well little is known about why the painting was commissioned or the identity of the sitter. All that is known is that the artwork was painted when Parmigianino made his final return to Parma. Antea is rich in symbolism from the fine clothing and jewelry to the odd proportion and suggestiveness of the subject's body. Parmigianino has created an odd and boldly confident beauty that fixes the viewer with the audacious gaze. Like the Mona Lisa, Antea has the same almost first eyes contact with the viewer and she too appears enigmatic and unattainable. The painting was only given the name Antea in the 17th century after Parmigianino's death. Giacomo Barry named the portrait after a famous Roman courtesan in his 1671 work, A Painter's Voyage Through Italy. In classical mythology, Antea also related to Aphrodite, the goddess of love. But there is no evidence to suggest Parmigianino would have chosen his name for his painting. It is not only Hantia's skin and complexion which appear unnatural. Her bodily proportions are out of sync. A tiny, yawful head is set upon an impossible large, curvy, womanly body and her shoulders are too wide and slop off at unfeasible angles. Her one hand is elongated and tapered in the typical monastery style. If you examine a cow fully, the different part of a body don't seem to match. Her eyes are so wide that you can even see the whiteness below her irises. Parmigianino has given the viewer a strange interpretation of beauty. Yet, despite her physical disproportion and anomalies, her presence still dominates the picture and a forceful beauty shines through. Parmigianino was a gifted portrait artist and could easily convey the emotion and personality of his subject. Antea's gaze seems to be ambiguous through. Her piercing eyes are almost haughty and nonchalant. Her cool demeanor makes the viewer question what she will think of the viewing world. The viewer feels as through the subject in directly looking at them and judging what she sees and a critical gaze brings to light through about statues and position in society. The relationship between weaver and subjects become blurred. Once again, Parmigianino has managed to create an interesting illusionary effect in his painting. Antea is looking at the viewer in equal measure and intensity as that which they are looking at her. Parmigianino has manipulated the space in the painting so nothing interrupts the interaction between Antea and the viewer. The background is bare and dark, except for the shadow and light that emulating her body. The outline of her figure is sharp and strong, as if she could pop out of the picture at any moment. Her hands, breast, and face are almost unnaturally smooth and of a marble-like quality. And of a marble-like quality, you get the impression that Antea could have been sculpted.